Today, there are plenty of hybrid vehicles and a handful of all electric vehicles, like maybe a Tesla, but the rest are all neighborhood electric vehicles, and that means you can't drive them on the highway. But this is the Aptera 2E. One of the reasons it looks so unusual is that it's super aerodynamic. The problem with traditional cars is that they spend up to 50% of their energy just pushing air out of the way. That isn't a problem with the Aptera. In fact, when loaded with people and cargo, it can go up to 100 miles on just a single charge. On the road, the Aptera feels like a typical electric car in many ways. Acceleration is brisk and quiet, but eventually a little tire noise makes its way into the cabin as the vehicle builds speed. Because the 2E is so light, the ride is a little bouncy. However, this should be fixed somewhat in the production vehicle as the batteries will be redistributed. One more thing that makes the Aptera so efficient is that the car is lightweight. For example, this composite body shell is so light that two people can easily lift it off the ground. When the car is fully assembled, an Aptera should weigh no more than 1,700 pounds. So the Aptera is definitely efficient, but who says efficiency can't be fun? <laughs> to save weight and energy, the Aptera uses manual steering. At very low speed, it requires a lot of effort, but once the vehicle is moving, it feels fine. Handling is predictable, and the odd-looking Aptera can actually be just as fun to drive as a typical sports car. Technically, the federal government classifies the Aptera 2E as a motorcycle, but the company opted for it to conform to passenger car safety standards. It features things like a front-end crumple zone and, in each door, a side intrusion beam made of this composite carbon material. Despite the car's small appearance, the interior is actually quite roomy. There's lots of headroom and the driving position is somewhat comfortable. Plus, there's plenty of high-tech features like a range meter, a charge meter, and a GSM connected navigation system. And that will let you know how far you can go one way or round trip. Finally, the seats and the carpet are made from recycled and recyclable materials. In addition to the Aptera's impressive green credentials, the car is actually built to be quite practical. For example, the solar panel on top of the roof helps keep the interior cool even when the car is parked. Plus, there's a moderately sized cargo area that can hold up to 15 grocery bags for a maximum of 250 pounds. What's important to remember about the Aptera 2E is that this is not some sort of crazy concept car or an outlandish prototype. This is a car that you can actually buy as soon as October of 2009, at least in California. Now, more than 4,000 people have already placed their order. Initial versions are electric only, but the company says they have a gasoline version and a series hybrid planned. The price starts at $25,000 and goes all the way up to $40,000.